Radhe Radhe Govinda Govinda Radhe Radhe Govinda So verse 34 O Sumuki Fair faced girl After Krishna killed 34 after Krishna killed the proud Shankatruda demon he gave Shyamantaka he gave the Shyamantaka jewel that he took from the demon's head to his brother Padarama the enemy of Pralambashura with a happy heart Balarama gave it to Madhumangala and you received it from Madhumangala's hand. When can I hang this Shyamantaka jewel, which is the friend of Krishna's Kostuba gem, in a locket around your neck? O Sumu. Fair faced girl. Fair faced girl. After Krishna killed the proud Shankachuda demon, he gave the Shyamantaka jewel that he took from the demon's head to his brother Adharam, the enemy of Pralambashura. With a happy heart, Badarama gave it to Madhumangala, and you received it from Madhumangala's hand. When can I hang this Shyamantaka jewel, which is the friend of Krishna's Pustuba gem, in a locket around your neck? In the previous verse, Sri Raghunatha had a vision of himself hanging the Graideya ornament around Swamini's neck. And when the vision subsides, he feels a burning heart, a great attraction to Swamini's beauty and sweetness, and the sweetness of her love arises in his heart. The Taruni Sevika the young maidservant is eagerly crying out of separation from the Ishvari, who is dearer to her than millions of her own like heirs. Here all lamentations over bodily conditions are absent. Shadira Raghunathadas Goswami feels separation from Radharani. And that separation is like a darkness that becomes twice as deep after the lightning flash of her sporadic audience is seen in the sky of his heart. But the more he experiences the white flash of Radharani, the darker the separation is. She is like a golden Tiki bird that flies in and out of the garden of his heart, weeping and weeping. Sri Raghunatha's heart, uh, sorry, weeping and weeping. Sri Raghunatha's heart that is eager to attain her internally and externally goes to the kingdom of pastimes where he has one vision of Swamini's dressing pastimes after the other. Weeping and weeping, Sri Raghunatha's heart, eager to attain her internally and externally, goes to the kingdom of pastimes, where he has one vision of Swamini's dressing pastime after the other. This time he perceives his service of hanging the Shyamantaka jewel, in a locket around Srimati's neck. 
Shall I hang this Shyamantaka jewel, which is the friend of Krishna's Kostuba jewel, in a locket on your chest? Shri Baladeva, the destroyer of, pra Pralamba, of the Pralamba demon, was very pleased with Shri Krishna, the killer of the Sankatsuda demon, and gave Shri Radha the Siamantika jewel through the hands of Madhu Mangala. Tulasi awakens the remembrance of so many previous pastimes in Swamini's heart. What is the meaning of the jewel? The Shimantaka jewel is the one big diamond. Why does like a Kohino or a fish, and more costly than that, uh, this jewel. Why does the demon this, have it? Uh, this demon yeah. is a uh, what is name? Pralamba. Yes. Pralamba means, in Hindi means, uh, who is very proud ah. of this jewel, who is living in that ego of that. So that he has the biggest wealth in the world. Mm. This is also one of the asura. So Krishna is an demonist, the nature of the human. When it becomes like that, mm. he is useless. He cannot do anything in his spiritual world. So he want to help him to kill this false ego, means kill this demoniac nature, to make him to realize right, right thing. Means the asuras means the demon, these type of demons are inside us. Asura. Demoniac thinking. Mm. And why is Padaram uh, giving the diamonds? Balram is a brother of Krishna, so he says, you care, your elder brother. Ah, he's caring. What you feed, you can give, because he has no his own interest, Krishna. He not get for his benefit. So he's a brother, you keep it. I have no interest to keep it. Mm -hmm. Just I want to remove our demoniac nature. And what you feel, and he has also no interest, he gives to the one cowboy that he no lock it and save it. He gives to this uh, Madhumanga. Yeah. He has no relation with Madhumanga. And Madhumanga gives to Radha. She can make ornaments of that. Is Madhumanga at uh, Manjari? Madhu Mangal is the brother of Radhika. Brother? Brother, yeah. Rajvasi. Ah. So not spirit, a male, a, a male identity. Not. A male identity. How um, um, any male can give to the female? Why? What is the reason? Brother can give to the sister, but how, general, how they can give? So they are brothers, no? Brother, sister can give, but normal relation not, na. Yeah. Krishna cannot give. He is love, but he don't want to show that love. He give to his brother, brother give to his friend, mm. friend give to his sister. But does Radhika know it's coming from Krishna through the brother? No. Everybody knows that Krishna killed this demon, mm. but this was not Krishna want that he it goes to anyone. You give this responsibility to brother. Yeah. This is your responsibility. I have no interest. Balram is no interest, so he gives to the... Maladeva. And Devon want to not... Maladeva. He is a full interest, so he is Devonian. Yeah. Deva is not in Devonian. Behind teaching is this.
Yeah, beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, the story of the killing of Shankar Chuda is related in Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10. Yeah. Chapter 34. One spring night, the night of Holi, the two divine brothers, Krishna and Balaram, enjoyed with the gopis in Braja's forest. How wonderful is Vrindavana's beauty. And now here from Bhagavatam. One night, Govinda and his wonderfully powerful brother Balaram were rambling in the forest with the young ladies of Braja, sweetly singing. They were very much loved by these June-like ladies. Their bodies were nicely ornamented and anointed. And they wore beautiful clothes and flower garlands. They honored the nightfall, which was marked by the appearance of the moon and the stars, as well as by the humming of bumblebees that were intoxicated by the fragrance of the fresh jasmine flowers and was fanned by a breeze filled with the fragrance of water lilies. The Mahajanas sing, it is the king of seasons, spring, and the society of Braja blissfully celebrates Holi. The gopis, the best of amorous heroines, are madly dancing with Yama, making so many delectable movements. How many Arasika songs they sing, and how many vinyas and other instruments they play. The Madangas are pounding, taiya, taiya. The gopis dance with restless, captivating steps. Wow. Taiya, taiya. Yeah, taiya. Taiya. Seeing them, many cupids would faint. The Sangita Rasa, flavor of song, is simply a knockout. The Svara Mandala clearly resounds, mixing with an array of instruments that reverberate in flowing waves of enchantment. Rose petals are showered over Shyamasundra and the Rangi, Ranginis, the playful gopis. Beautiful, luscious and juicy bodies as his dancing ensues, carries on with theirs. The Vraja gopis give the rhythm Anandana, Krishna, sings songs while holding Rai's body to his. They exclaim, Ho, ho, hori! And blissfully clap their hands while others chant, Jaya, Jaya! Uddhavadasa wrote this song, revealing Govinda's glories and the waves of Rasa that are relished during the holy pastimes. It was the night of Holi when Chanka Chuda, when the Chanka Chuda demon came to disturb their enjoyment by trying to kidnap the gopis. After Krishna had killed the demon, he took the Shamantaka jewel that shone like the sun from his head, from the head of the demon and gave it to his older brother, Balaram, in front of all the gopis. When Krishna was carrying the brilliant Shyamantaka jewel, each Raja gopi proudly 
thought that their prana kanta govinda was going to hand them the jewel. Sri Krishna knew what was on the gopis' minds and did not give any of them the brilliant jewel. Rather, he gave it to his elder brother, Balaram. So once again, Gurudev, we have this, the gopis, they think they're alone with Krishna. They don't see that Krishna's with a million other gopis. Each Raja Gopi proudly thought that Trana Kanta Govinda was going to hand them the jewel. Sri Sanatana Goswami writes in his commentary on this Bhagavatam verse, Krishna, after killing Shankachuda, thought to himself, surely I'll give, I'll have to give this jewel to my heart's beloved, Sri Radhika. But if I give it to her directly, all the other gopis will surely bear a grudge against me. Let me, therefore, give it to my elder brother. He knows everything, and out of love for me, will give it to Sri Radhika. In his Sarata Darshani commentary, Sri Vishwanatha Chakravarti adds, He, Badram, knows everything. So he will give the jewel to Madhum Mangala, who will give it to Sri Radhika. Badram thus blesses Sri Radhika as if she is his younger sister in law. Because of Balaram's sweet affection, Tulasi can now decorate her Swamini with this costly jewel. Tulasi is like Swamini's shadow, never leaving her. Her gaze is fixed on her service, and she serves Swamini, the honey-sweet Lila Rasa. How sweet it is to sit by their lotus feet, even while hearing and chanting about these services. The Kostupa jewel on Krishna's chest is the friend of the Shyamantaka jewel on your bosom. These are friends through the Leela, not despite the Leela. A slight sweet smile appears like a line on the Radhika's face as she hears the sweet intimate words of her Shurasika Kinkari. So they each have a jewel, Gurudev. Yeah. Krishna has a jewel on the chest and Radhika. Yeah. What does this mean? Jewel means the heart, the uh -huh. jewel, love. This is the jewel who gives. They give to others. Mm. This is jewel, no? who is giving, who cares others. Yeah. They one cannot care. They use only for themselves. This is demoniac nature. Mm. And who do for others their their saintliness, like you are doing for your father today. Mm. This is saintly nature. Mm. When the when they wear the jewel on the outside, the heart is on the outside. So jewel means meaning of jewel means they are capable to give and jewel. they can hang jewel because they are have a jewel, mm. always giving. They are ready to give everything if somebody is asking, somebody is loving, they yeah. give. But one person you love or do anything, they have nothing to give. Yeah. 
they are so rich, but they are so mild, miser, they don't know to give. Mm. So what is the use of their money or anything what is they have? Consider they are. No, no, anything yeah. they are, for themselves is useless. Only for their enjoyment they use that. This is not a jewel, this is not a wealth. Mm -hmm. This is not a jewel. This is not useful for them, to only for themselves. This nature is demoniac nature. Using for themselves, not for service. Mm -hmm. Like you, your money you are using for father's service. Father will not see, but you are doing with your love. Mm. This is your jewel feelings. This is the jewel itself, and you will be feel more proud than you use for yourself. You see that? Yeah. That I do something today. Others cannot do. Everybody has a money, but they not do. That is the real wealth when we are inner satisfaction comes. There's another, there's another realization Guru Dev, maybe, that when Krishna is wearing the jewel and Radhika is wearing the jewel, then their feelings are on the outside, it's showing. So it's... The, the, they, the have a, they, they have a quality, they have a jewel, they wear or not wear, they have a jewel. They are not wearing all the time jewel, yeah. but they have a jewel. They are jewels, so still they are giving. They never stop giving. That is the jewel. Endless. How I, I go to them, they are always ready to standing and waiting for us to give us. And there's no hiding the jewel. You no. don't hide it away. No. In spiritual world, the inside and outside, there's no difference. No. It's all showing. Yeah, giving, giving. Giving. It's a very small thing, but it's a giving, no? Mm. Banana is there, all fruits is there, all seeds are ending. Giving, not hiding. Yeah. What you like, this is Mahabhav, this is yeah. the feeling of how. Like I like, you also like. Like you do, I also feel. Why you distribute the hundred people or hundred twenty-five people per other? What you like, you are eating, you want to share that. That is the behind meaning. Mm. You know, charge money, yeah. Many people charge ten rupees, thirty, fifty rupees for that. It costs one per chadam fifty rupees. So you are not asking any penny for that. You give without. Mm. And you don't know who you're giving to. Yeah, you don't know. There's no uh, object. No object. Yeah. Anyone come, you give. Mm. No object also. That is love. Yeah. You know, fix that I will give to him, Maharaj. Beautiful. Mm. That is saintly nature. But this explains why we give. All devotees should understand this. It's really important. I will not understand that he is there. Some demonic thing is there. Then Krishna killed this nature. Mm. If this demonic natures are there, so is not killing to the human, killing to that demon who is inside us. If not killing that demon inside us, then I cannot be a saintly person. He no kill the person. He kill the nature of that that behavior to make them saintly. Hmm. And it happens because we are never will associate with the saintly person. So by looking to others, we also got it. 
It's not a, like a, I learn from my born, I learn. This I, is a, circumstances was like this. Or this type of person I grow up. So in, so in Mandri Bhav, nothing that's in my heart is not a gift for you. It's all a gift for you, yeah. for the other. Mandri Bhav is not, it's so, yeah. saintly nature. Mahabhav. Saintly nature. When saintly nature is not coming, how my bhav will change? Mm. Nature, behavior has to be saintly, not demonial. When sentry nature comes, then feeling will grow. If the sense, demoniac nature is there, demon has no feeling. This is the nature of demon that they have no feeling. You ask to you feel why you kill this man. He will say, I don't feel anything. Because they have a nature of demon. They can kill her son and wife. Hmm. Because they don't relate. It's a nature. But nature will be sentry, then they will feel it. Nature is the basic thing for the human. I what I want to become, demoniac or sentry. What is my practice to do? The Kastuba Jen and the Shyamantika Jur are friends. Like they are friends because they are jewel. Because they are? They jewel. Jewels. They are givers. Yeah. They are nature to give. Yeah. Benefit of their qualities. The Kostuba gem and the Shimantika jewel are friends, like two devotees whose friendship is centered around Shri Shri Radha Krishna. They are centered in Radha Krishna not for the benefit from them, hmm. to give to them. This is the sentry nature, they are friends. What is my central point? Radha Krishna is central point, then this will be used for them. Hmm. And when the gold is the Samantha jewel is the my jewel, then I will use for myself. They are friends because they have the same nature. The same nature of giving. Of giving. Yeah. Generosity. The Kinkari's friendship is also based on their service to Shri Radhika. How wonderful is the friendship of Rupa and Raghunatha. The friendship of Kostuba and Shyamantaka is just like that, accomplished through the Leelas. This cannot be experienced without thinking of oneself as Sri Radha's maidservant. As long as the mind drags the devotee here and there and keeps him absorbed in bodily consciousness, there can be no aim at the truth. Why am I always carried away by things that were not there before and that will not remain after? Well, material things, in other words. Before and after never remain. I am ruining myself by forsaking the service of the Lord, who is my all in all. I cannot forsake temporary things and strive for the eternal. Mm. Why am I always carried away by things that were not there before and that will not remain after? I'm ruining myself by forsaking the service of the Lord who is my all in all. Raghunatha Das Goswami lived like a prince before he joined Mahaprabhu. He was as wealthy as the heavenly King Indra, and his wife was as beautiful as an angel. But he gave it all up 
Mahaprabhu being very satisfied with his extraordinary example of loving devotion and renunciation presented him with a Govardhan Sila and a Gunja Manga, therefore thereby offering him to the lotus feet of Gire, Giridari and Sri Radhika. In this way, Sri Radhika took a seat in his heart. The, the aspirants should also be asleep to the world and be awake to Sri Radharani's service. That is the teaching of the Acharyas. Underline. Mm. The, the aspirants should also be asleep to the world and be awake to Radharani's service. That is the teaching of the Acharyas. Tulasi calls Swamini Sumuki by speaking about the friendship between the Kostuba and Siamantaka jewels she awakens the memories of so many Radhika pastimes within Swamini's mind. Srimati's eyes and face light up with feelings of love when she hears Tulasi's nectarian words about the jewels. This beautiful face is the gate through which the feelings of the embodiment of feeling are manifest. That is why Tulasi calls her Sumuki, or fair-faced girl. I repeat, the beautiful face is the gate through which the feelings of the embodiment of feeling are manifest. So we can most easily see on Radhika's face the fact that she is feeling embodied, feeling personified. That is why Tulasi calls her Sumuki, or Therapist Girl. Sri Rupa Goswami describes the endless waves of Bhava on the ocean of Srimati's face as follows. When he gives an example of Radhika's quality of Subhilasa in Ujjwala Nilami. Sri Radhika's waves of playfulness, like her crooked, roving, sidelong glances, the enchanting dance steps of her vine-like eyebrows, her smile that shines like kunda flowers or like the moonbeams that brighten her moon-like face, her restless, dangling earrings, whose beautiful luster illuminates her cheeks, and her sweet, inarticulate words that sound like Cupid's perfect mantras are stealing Hari's heart. When Tulasi remembers Swamini's moonlike face so full of ecstatic love, she says, O oh, Sumuki, the gems of both of them, Radha and Krishna, are in an embrace. The black moon plays with the lotus. I saw him relishing the honey that trickles from that lotus. Blessed is that moon if he can serve this lotus flower. When Tulasi calls her Sumuki, she immerses Swamini in the remembrance of this Lila Rasa. Swamini laughs at Tulasi in a naughty way and says, Oh, did you remember all this, Tulasi? Tulasi says, I have to remember all this for you. You are Anuragavati. What if you would forget because of your natural inst insatiability? Then I will have to remind you, won't I? Swamini would be shy to discuss such topics with her friends Lalita and Vishaka, but she can trust her loyal maidservant Tulasi. 
So she speaks out without shame. The maid servants are Shiradikas, Visvasabhumi, the objects of her trust. Just as Raghunatha Dasa wants to hang the Shiamantika jewel on Swamini's chest, he does not get anything anymore. The vision fades. And he prays and laments while eagerness arises in him. The wicked Sankhachuda came entering Vrindavana to kidnap you and ran, and ran away. At that time, Vandamali, Krishna, destroyed him and took away the jewel from his head. He blissfully handed the jewel to Balaram, who gave it to Madhumangala, who again presented it to you. That Shimantaka jewel is itself a mind full of jewels of beauty and is befriended with Vishnu's Kanstuba jewel. I will string that king of jewels on a pearl necklace and hang it around your neck. O oh, fair-faced girl, tell me, when will you grant me that service and keep me at your feet as a maidservant? Rathe, Rathe, Gaur